Hi everyone, welcome back. I hope you're all enjoying the series. It's a great little game, isn't it? Right, let's start off with a little correction thanks to my eagle-eyed viewers. The American Bison has two America's icons. So when I took the discount for the partner zoo, it's not just one, it's two, it's two lots, right? So it's minus three per continent icon. There's only a few animals that have these double continent icons. So I should have three more money. Good news for the zoo, right? I really want to start by finding a way to flip these two. I want to build a reptile house. I want to be able to draw I want to be able to draw from reputation range. I think I need to do this one first. Why don't I build a size 2 enclosure for the rear using this action? Okay, let's do this first. First action, build. Build one building with a maximum size of 3. So £2 for space. I'm going to build size 2. So that's 4 pounds for money. A size two enclosure. I'm going to place it here, which gives me two reputation and an X token. So one of these, that's good. Two reputation, one, two. That allows me to upgrade a card. So I'm going to upgrade cards. I still need to upgrade this. I think that's that done. Okay. Action two cards. It says I can draw cards from within reputation range or from the deck or snap. I can snap on three now, but I'm up in the five spot, so I can draw four, discard one. One, two. Three, four, discard one, a wombat, an expert on Asia. Each time you play an Asia icon, you may build a pavilion for free. I think I'll get rid of the rear and put the wombat in there instead. Yeah, just discard the rear. Do I want expert on Asia? No, let's get rid of this guy. I don't think I need him. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. I'm happy with those. That's it, that's that done. These come down. I've got a horse. Petting zoo. Pony. And then an expert in large animals. Animals that need size four enclosures. If I do this now, I can make it a four. I'm going to upgrade my build. No, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to keep it as a three. And get my last partnership. My last partnership is going to be with Australasia. That goes in this spot which is going to give me two conservation points. So that's one, two. After passing this point, I can either upgrade a card or take an additional worker. I want to upgrade a card. I think, yep, yeah, we want to upgrade the build. Yep, yeah, level two build. Level two build means I can now build the large bird aviary and a reptile house. I want to get the reptile house because I've got a bunch of reptiles. Cool, okay. Australasia helps me with the wombats. And the rear can go here. The wombat's gonna go in there. Yeah. Okay. Now it says, perform one or more different association tasks, done that. In addition, you may make a donation. So I could pay, it was at the moment, seven. 
and you may play a conservation project from within cons uh, reputation range with additional costs. So yeah, let's pay, should we pay the seven? Let's pay the seven. Every point counts, I think, at the moment. Goes up here, that gets me one more conservation point. Okay, it says you may play conservation project cards from within reputation range. That's only if you take the that level five conservation project action. And that's it, so we've made our donation. This goes down. We've got one more action left. We haven't got much time left. This is our last action. I think I'm just going to put that one back into play. Pushing this thing up is hard. This is why cards like the Sloth Bear, now I've realised, okay, the Sloth Bear pushing this up to the five spot and the Raccoon is so valuable. Yeah, those are good cards to have around, aren't they? Let's do animals. Do we want to play one or two? We only want to play one. We want to play the Wombats. Yep. Wombats. And these are size two enclosure. It costs nine. I've got minus three on the cost because I've got a partner zoo in Australasia. That's six. Wombats going in there. And it's got a pouch one, it says, you may place one card from your hand under this card to gain two. So I might just place the rear under here. <laughs> a wombat with a rear in its pouch. And then gain two tickets. This one gives me four, so plus two, that's six tickets in all. So we go from 51 to 57 appeal. We haven't got many actions left, have we? Okay, tea break time. That knocks out of 10. My hand size is okay, I've only got three cards. I've got a limit of five, nothing doing here. One worker back. These two go, we slide down. And we draw a lesser flamingo and a leopard. Income, still just two from my kiosk and 27 from my gate receipts. Okay, let's call it 30, minus one. Right, so money's not a problem. Actions are the problem. Let's start with the next action. I'm going to push sponsors down. It's not making this work, am I? And then association with 2x. I think. Or do I want to do cards or build first? Yeah, let's do the build first. That'll save me an X token. Let's build. Build one or more different buildings with a max size of X. I want to build the reptile house, which is going to uh, cost me 10. It's a special building of size 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, okay where are we going to put it? Put it down here. You could put it here. And you can only build on these spaces if you've got a level two build, which we do now have. Okay, same for the large bird Avery. I'm going to place it here and get the two reputation, I think. Notice it doesn't have an unoccupied side, right? The reptile house is the reptile house. Instead, it's got little spots for cubes and I'll show you this when we start putting our reptiles in the reptile house. Okay, we go up two rep, one, two, which gains us another worker. And for gaining that worker, we earn two conservation points. Good news. Okay, one, two. Now our rewards are either a standard three space enclosure for free, five pounds, 
or a partner zoo. Well, we don't want to take a partner zoo because we've already got one. Five pounds is handy. I think I'm going to take the, uh, the free size three enclosure. I don't really have anyone to go in it. Oh, I shouldn't have played the sponsors. I shouldn't have X'd the sponsors. I should have X'd the cards, action. Live and learn. Live and learn, Ricky. Oh, I can use my X tokens. We might be alright. We might be alright. Maybe I'll just take the five pounds. I do gain conservation for empty building spaces in my zoo, so... Let's just take the five pounds. Although if I put an enclosure here, that'll be ten pounds. Yeah, let's do that instead. Let's put it next to next to here and we'll take the ten pounds. Ten pounds. Alright, we're running out of time, folks. It's all good fun. This is brilliant. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, final action. I could. Play my sponsorship. I don't even know if there's any value in that now. I've got to get the reptiles in first, haven't I? So I could do animals, or I could do association now. I should do association now. That's what I need to do. It's a four. I could boost it up to a six. And I could do a four and a two. I think I want to do a five. I think I want to do a five. So perform one or more different association tasks, different association tasks with a max value of five. So let's go and do this one up here. So I could have done a four and a two, taken this. That would have given me two conservation points. That's really good, actually. But no, I want to show you this. I want to show you how this works. And I want to do it for my sake, too. Right, we're doing this one. This is conservation project. And with this action, we can support one of these conservation projects already in play. So we've got primates, which requires primate icons in our zoo. We have none. Predators, we've got two actually. We've got the sloth bear and the raccoon. So we could do predators. This would give us two conservation points. We could do habitat diversity. It requires different continent icons in your zoo. I think we've pretty much got loads. One, two, three, four. I think we've got Africa as well. I think this counts, right? It's a partner zoo. I think we've got them all. So that'll be five conservation points. Probably the one we're doing. Or we could um, play a conservation card from our hand. We don't have any. Or within our reputation range with additional costs. So we could play the herbivore breeding program. So I could put this one in play, and this goes up here in this empty spot, okay, above the association board. Do I want five conservation points or two and two rep? I think I'm going to take the five conservation points. So we're going to fill this one, but this time the tokens that fill this spot, they don't come from the supply. Instead, they come from here, your, from your player board. Whichever one I choose, I get the bonus immediately. For these three, that's either two rep, 12 money, three X tokens. For these, you also gain it during the income phase. Okay, so this one kind of doubles up a little bit. This one says take any card from the display, a free size two enclosure. We've only got one more round left. So this will be worth two conservation points. These three X tokens are tempting. I might just take this. If I take this, I could pay into another conservation program. So even when this moves down to the one spot, four X's is still worth a five. So I could do it again. So actually, maybe, 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 you can't pay onto the same conservation project more than once. If I play this one, I can't use it again. I could do predators, I could do, uh, I haven't got any primates, so I could do predators. But maybe I should do this one. Maybe I should do this one. And then next time I can do habitat diversity. Should we do that? Let's do that. Because it gives me two points and reputation. All right, herbivore breeding program. And I love the little red pandas. So we pay the additional cost, which is one. 
Um, I've got one. Place this up here. So there's a limited number, right? I'm going to take this bottom cube, which gives me three X tokens. So I've gone, I've got four. Remember, there's a maximum of five here. And I fill one of these spots. So the first person who goes here gets two reputation and two conservation points. Right, one, two, we're up to eight, we get another bonus. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> this gives me three X tokens. There's no point taking this because it's, it's the end of the round, this, that's gonna get wiped. Five coins, nah. actually, so let's do this one. I'll come back to that. Let's do something else instead. Let's take two reputation. No, let's do this one. Let's do the one extra. <laughs> I'm switching about. Let's do the take the uh, the conservation point. Okay, so those three X's come from here. That's that done. We get one extra conservation point instead. We've still got our two reputation to take. So one, two. We need level two cards action, which we've got already. This one lets me take a card from within reputation range or from the top of the deck. Uh, let's take one from the top of the deck. A pygmy hippo, and it's another herbivore. Now I'm happy, right? So we've done that, we took our extra one. We've done that, we've took our two. We've done all that, so we still haven't completed our action yet because we may, in addition, make a donation, and I'm gonna make a donation um, using a token from the supply. This is gonna cost 10 coin, gives me another conservation point. Once we hit this point, from now on, we can pay 12 and, you can, and they don't block out, right? So an additional 12 is one conservation point. For now, this is going into this spot, and this is a special spot. This means we have to choose one of our end game scoring cards to keep discarding the other. So at this point we have to make a choice. Which one of these two do we want to keep? Gain conservation point for supporting conservation projects. I think I'm going to get two, which would be <laughs> zero points. A naturalist suit, gain conservation points for empty building spaces. I've got quite a lot. I think I'm around 20. Uh, I was about 22, 23 before I put that down. So I wouldn't have got the four, but yeah, we're going to keep this one. Naturalists Zoo. Okay, cool. That now gets discarded. And I need to pay my 10, don't I, for my donation. Okay. I believe we've reached the end, finally. Okay. This shuffles down. And then we replenish with Explorer. Each time you gain a continent or animal category icon that is not yet in your Zoom game, an appeal. And then you get two money for each different continent or animal category in your Zoom. Yeah, okay. Conservation projects are proving tough. Okay. Round six. This isn't needed anymore, the board's full. My hand size is five. I've got four cards. Clearing times two, so that's why that one wasn't any good. Take my workers back. I've got one. Lose two cards, these go. Replenish. We have veterinarian. Supporting a conservation project only requires, requires four. Well, that's nice. Reduce the cost of this action, right? So strength four. He's good. Could have had him sooner. And then we've got an Indian peafowl. This is a peacock as opposed to a peahen. Posturing two. You may place a free kiosk or pavilion. Nice. Birds. A bird strategy might have been good at the beginning, remember? Okay, income. Gate receipts 27. Still just two from my kiosk. I haven't built any kiosks or pavilions during the game, but it might happen, it might happen. 
But now that I've got a naturalist zoo, I don't really want to take up empty spaces, so maybe not. And then, of course, I get my one conservation point now. So that moves up to 11. We've got just two actions left. And I want to get these two reptiles in. So let's do that. We're going to do animals. It needs to be in the five position, so I'm going to have to exit. Or I could do association first. I don't think it matters. Let's exit. Right, so we've got a strength five. We can place two animal cards. Let's do them one at a time. The American alligator needs a size four enclosure or two spaces in the reptile aquarium. Let's take up two spaces in the reptile aquarium. Okay, there's five in all. It needs an enclosure next to water, so if we'd have put him in a size four, it, need, it would need to be next to a lake. Okay. It's going to cost 18, but we've got a continent partner zoo reduction, so 15. And he's got snapping one, gain any one card from the display, and it's going to give us seven appeal. So seven appeal puts us up to 64. We're getting closer. I can grab a card from the display. I've got a size three enclosure, possibly leopard. Sets a leopard, yeah, that's no good. The leopard wants an enclosure next to rocks. Our size three enclosure is next to lakes, but not next to rocks. I'm just wondering now do we play the agama or do we do the pygmy hippo? Interesting. You may take a card from the display. Let's take the veterinarian. I'm just wondering actually, if I play this Agama, it takes up zero space in the reptile house. But for this sponsor, I actually need three reptiles. It will give me two tickets. I'm just wondering whether I'll just play the hippo, you know? I'm going to play the pygmy hippo as my second animal. Controversial, but here we go. It needs a partner zoo in Africa, which we've got. And it's going to cost 12 money, which we've got. 15 reduced. It needs an enclosure by water and size 2. We've got a size 3 next to water. Let's put the pygmy hippo in there. Action, sponsors. After finishing the current action, you may perform the sponsors action. Cool. Right, Pygmy, you're in. And you're going to give me six appeal. A Pygmy Hippo with six appeal. Putting me up to 70. 70. We're a long way off. We're one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We need seven more conservation. I don't think we're going to do it. I know we've got five. Let's see. Right, I believe that's it. We've finished our animal's action. We still haven't finished our turn, though. Because now we can take the sponsor's action. Uh, this one. So that was on there, All right? Yeah, we took the animal's action. We still haven't finished our turn, so we're not refreshing yet. And we've got a sponsor level of four. So that means I can play either of these. So I could do the reptile sponsorship. Um, or I could do the veterinarian. I'm going to put the veterinarian in. I like this. Veterinarian. Supporting conservation project now only re requires four cost action. And then the immediate effect is number of universities I've got, which is two, gains me five money. Okay, cool. Five money. That's all of my sponsor's action done. No 
this goes down. Association's pushed up, which is great. This goes on here. Right, we're on our final, final action. Once this pushes to the right, that triggers the game end. And of course it's association, and it could be good. I'm going to stick all my X's on here. We're going to call this a strength six association action. I can perform one or more different ta uh, tasks with a maximum total value of six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. First off, I'm going to do one of these. Two reputation. Oh, I need to refresh first. Because we did end our turn. A great flamingo. Yeah, I could have put him in that enclosure. That might have been better. Still, we've got a pygmy hippo who served us well. Okay, two reputation, one, two. So we get a conservation point and an X token. Conservation goes up. We get one of these. That's two. I've got four left on the association board. And because of my veterinary conservation projects only cost four. So that's where I'm going next. So we go up here at a cost of four. I'm going to grab one of these tokens. What do I want? Reputation, I think. Two reputation. That's immediate bonus. Uh, one, two. So that means we can draw a card and gain one more conservation. Let's just grab one from the top of the deck. It's a cougar. This we can place on one of these conservation projects. Habitat diversity is what I'm going for. I've got all five continent icons in my zoo. Five conservation points. One, two, three, four, five. Bingo. <laughs> and we could even pay 12 and make a donation, couldn't we? And give us one more. Ends the action. This slides right. This tells us when both of these have slid to the right, we trigger final scoring. Wow. Well, we are victorious. You go straight to final scoring. No messing about doing another break, which I love. Great design decision. Let's do our final scoring. We are victorious. But by how much? Let's just see what our final score was and maybe we can do better next time. So anything with this icon. Okay, we've got one, two, we've got these three. I think that's it. I think that's what we're looking at. Now then, let's have a look. Gain conservation for empty building spaces in your zoo. Building spaces are all the spaces on your map except rock and water. These count as well, even if you haven't leveled up your build action. So uh, what have we got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 18, 19. We've got 19. So we just fall into this banner. That's three conservation points. Lovely naturalist zoo. 1, 2, 3. Veterinarian says if we've got three universities at the end, then we score one more point. We've only got two universities. And then the talented communicator says, at the end of the game, we've got at least nine reputation. We do, we've got 14. We get one more conservation point. To calculate our final score, we move this into the lowest appeal area. Yeah, so 57, 56, 55 is going into the 55 spot. That's our target number. Subtract our target number from our current appeal. 70 minus 55 is 15. When you consider we started on 20, the game suggests for varying difficulties you could instead start on 10, which would give us a score of 5, or even 0, which case we would have lost. So that's the, the objective, is to try and start appeal on, on 0. But I love chasing that target down. It gives you something to focus on. And boy, what a beautiful game. What a great, fun experience. I love these um, conservation 
cards too. One thing we didn't see was releasing animals back into the wild. It says, like, if I wanted to do this project, for example, instead of having different requirements, it says release one animal with a Europe icon into the wild, and then you score your points like that. And incidentally, when you release an animal from the zoo, so let's say I release the, uh, the moose in Europe, then you lose the animal's appeal. It's lost your zoo, right? So you're gaining conservation points, but you're losing appeal. But also it frees up their space in the zoo. Well, that was Ark Nova. I really enjoyed this and I'm looking forward to my next play. I hope you've enjoyed the series. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.